So Stefan, kind of a follow up from our previous conversation in terms of the value alignment. Do you think that there should be 100% alignment, 80% and the 20 will be the added value or it all depends on the company size, culture, what they're looking for. If it's a startup, it's different. If it's a mature company, it's different. So what are your thoughts? I don't think you can get necessarily 100% alignments on, on values. Yeah. Um, you know, there's, it, it's always interesting to me because you have the values that are identified by the organization, yes. right? Depending on who the recruiter, the recruiting manager is not the recruiter from the mm -hmm. talent acquisition team, but actually the manager is going to end up managing the person hired. Yeah. That person may have slightly different values than the organizational values, yes. right? In terms of what they believe on, um, whether it's, um, I mean, it, uh, across many, many different areas. So it's more, again, it's more about, you know, deciding or not whether you actually want to work with that person. And then for the, for the uh, candidate, whether or not you have a good feeling about yeah. your manager and potentially other coworkers that you mm -hmm. may be working with if you have a chance to interview or meet with them along the way as well. Yes. But a way to assess it too um, is just to allow the candidates and the team to meet, even if it's for half an hour, right? just to have a sense of what it's like uh, for the candidates to you know, get to know a bit more of the coworkers and the coworkers to, yes. to get to know about the candidates as well. For me, it doesn't have to be the hiring manager necessarily that has to make the decision solely. Now, ultimately, the decision, the hiring manager may have the final word along with whomever in HR, potentially, yeah. but you also want to give the opportunity for your team to meet with candidates. Yeah, I totally agree with you because it's also it's a two-way communication from the candidate and the employer to see if there's a fit. And if you, if you don't feel that this is a good fit for you, you can always leave. Don't go because you're desperate because... At the very end, it will show up and you will be not happy and productive in your work. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Now, there's it. I was talking about like, you know, dating and marriage yeah. before. And uh, so the next phase is once you get married, it's the honeymoon, right? Yeah. And you want the honeymoon to last as long as possible. Yes. But oftentimes in the workplace, you have a, you have a disconnect between what is promised to yeah. a candidate from another yeah. person and what actually the experience is, yeah. right? And so the honeymoon can be very long, but it can be very short. Within a few days or a week or, or so, you, uh, a new person or a new hire can be very dis disappointed or be, can become very disappointed and then disengaged. Yeah, from I the totally agree with you. And for the audience, if you have any other tips, please leave them below. And tune in next time for other great questions, Stefan. Mm -hmm.